Right now, I'm going to teach you about selling put options and why it's the best trading strategy hands down. Actually, it's the best passive income strategy you can find on YouTube. And I'm teaching you all about it in this video. Stay tuned. First off, before we get into selling put options, let's go over the quick definition of what a put option does because it's so important you understand this. A put option for the buyer is the right to sell a specified quantity of the security at the strike price. So options, they control 100 shares of the stock and put options allow you to sell 100 shares of the stock at the specified strike price. Here's a live example right now, this is Roku. I use Roku for selling option examples all the time because I personally love this stock. Roku right now, if I click puts on Robinhood, you're gonna see all these strike prices. If I ended up buying one of these, I could trade it or I could hold it and exercise it. And what this allows me to do is use this 111 strike price to sell my 100 shares of Roku that I most likely own. If I'm buying this option, this put option, I most likely own this stock 100 shares specifically. But if you're selling put options, you don't have to own this stock. You can collect premium by shipping the option. And if anything goes wrong, you just buy the stock and then you own it. So this strategy is hands down the best strategy you can find on YouTube. And the best news is it's a never lose strategy. I know, I thought that was some BS when someone told me, but it's completely true. With one stipulation, you have to pick a stock you believe in, a stock you don't mind owning. If you do that, this is a never lose strategy. Passive income every single day of the week. And if you're excited to hear this strategy, Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want seven days trading with me in my premium option trading group, hit the link below as well. Let's get into it. So this is every single reason why selling put options is the best strategy out there. And then after that, I'm gonna give you a live example of a stock I would be shorting put options with right now. Number one, the whole reason this works is because out of the money options go to zero. We call those OTM options, out of the money, those are most likely going to zero by the time of expiration. And as you know, if you're shorting an option, you can actually collect that premium. The premium is the price the option costs. So for this option, this put option for 111, it costs 277. So for someone buying it, they're hoping the price goes up. For someone shorting it, they're hoping this price goes down. Best part about options, options out of the money have a very high chance of going to zero. And I'm gonna show you why. So if I click sell, which is what we would be doing if we're shorting put options, and then I'm gonna click off this one option here, and we're gonna start from scratch. You can scroll down, and the further you go down, the further and further we call out of the money. The higher the chance this option is going to zero, and you're gonna collect the full premium that you're clicking on the right over here. So 182 you can collect that full $182 if this goes to zero. How about 90 bucks? Collect that, no problem. And here's the thing, we have the chance of profit being extremely high. So that's that third row right here. As we scroll down, we see 69% chance you make $183. How does that sound? You wake up tomorrow, make $183. So I'm curious guys, why haven't you grabbed my free option trading course in the link in the bio? How does that sound? That's not gambling. This isn't roulette. You don't have a 50% chance of hitting red or black. You have a 69% chance of making $182. If you scroll down, 80% chance of making 90 bucks. If you scroll down again, 90% chance you're gonna make $33. This is why it's incredibly amazing. If you scroll down even further, let's say you're not feeling any risk, 99% chance you make two bucks. Passive income, who cares what the amount is? $2 is $2. So that is why this is the best strategy, as well as the other reasons why I love it so much. So number two, we can get exercised. That does happen when options are short, when you're short a call or short a put, you can get exercised. And all that means is you have to own the stock if we're shorting put options, because the buyer has the right to sell 100 shares. If you're on the other side of the contract and they exercise their option, they're gonna sell those 100 shares to you you're gonna to have to own those 100 shares. So this is what we call cash secured 
puts because we need the cash to possibly buy 100 shares of the stock at any moment. So right here, this is Roku, like I said, it's trading at $110. So if I had to buy 100 shares of that, it's roughly gonna cost $11,000. So for you to even implement this strategy, you have to have $11,000 in the side of your account to even sell these put options. So to sell one put option, you probably need $11,000. But the best part is the further and further you go out of the money, the less capital you need because you won't be buying it at $110. You're gonna be buying this option or the stock at $96 because that's the strike price. The best part about this play is you're buying the stock at a discount, which is number three or number four. We're getting the discounted stock if we get exercised. Number three, we're keeping the premium. That's two more reasons why this strategy is incredible. And let me explain that really quickly. So instead of buying it at 110, the current price it's at now, if the stock drops and the 97 strike price goes in the money, you're probably gonna get exercised. There's a small chance, but it could happen. If that's the case, you need to cover, buy 100 shares of the stock at $97, which is a huge discount for where Roku's trading right now. So again, 97 times 100 is about $9,700. So you don't need that much more capital and if you haven't yet, make sure you grab my two books, Bulletproof Recession Proof Setups, link in the bio, only three bucks. You don't need $11,000, now you only need $9,700. So if the small chance Roku sank hit $97 or further below it, you could get exercised, you could own Roku at $97 for 100 shares, but the best part is this 11 bucks that you shorted the option for, we call that the premium. As an option seller, you get to keep that. So if you're wrong and the trade goes against you, you still get paid. And then you get to own the stock, which is not a bad thing because here's the thing, we are only playing stocks that are great stocks. And that's why this strategy works out so well. This is the triple Q. As you saw, we had a huge sell over the COVID crisis and then a huge V-shaped recovery. During that time of moving higher and higher and higher, if you were selling put options, you would have collected consistent income because the stock just moved higher. All the put options would have expired out of the money. But if you did get exercised, here's the fact that I want you to look at. On the monthly chart, if we're looking at the triple Q, which is the index, one of the safest investments of all time, the triple Q, the SPY, any index fund is considered the safest basket of stocks you can own. It hasn't reached levels from the past. You know, 2008, 2002, we haven't touched those levels ever again. So with the triple Q, as you're seeing, owning the stock is not a bad thing. With this strategy, you wanna pick stocks you don't mind owning long-term. So again, if we end up buying the stock and we can't sell any more put options in the future, we can still own the stock and make gains from it if it goes up. That's why this is called the never lose investing trading strategy, passive income strategy, because again, you make money when the stock goes up or you can short put options until you own the stock. So let's go over four more reasons why this is the best passive income strategy on the internet. And then after that, I'm gonna give you a live example of a stock I would be shorting put options with right now. It's gonna blow your mind. But right now, this is number five, a capped loss. This is one reason I love shorting put options. And again, shorting call options is the opposite. You have infinity losses. You can lose so much money, more than that's in your account. A capped loss is the best thing you wanna hear as a trader because if I have to own Roku at $97 for 100 shares, the most I could lose is that $9,700. So $9,700 is what you're risking because that's where the stock could go to zero. So that's the case where just everything goes wrong, the stock you picked was a bad stock and you lost everything. In that case, there's a very small chance that's actually gonna happen because again, we're buying strong stocks, stocks we believe in. We're not doing this on shady stocks like Luckin's Coffee that went straight to zero. We're doing this on stocks we truly believe in. In that case, we should never see a cap loss or a max loss ever hit. So that's why I love this because you're not gonna ever lose all your money doing this strategy. I see so many traders on the internet losing all their money and it really doesn't have to happen like this. They don't have to do the riskiest things out there. They can just do safe income strategies that are great over time. So now let's get into that. Income, that's what I've been talking about this whole show. 
this whole video, income from this strategy every single week. The best part about this strategy is you don't do it once or twice or three times. You can do it every single week of the year, 52 weeks of the year, you can collect income. So Roku options, all you have to do is go to Robinhood and click this bar right here. You're gonna see all these options expiring every single week. So you're not gonna pay options 40 days out, you're gonna be selling options expiring that week because those ones go to zero the quickest, meaning you're gonna make money very quickly, passive income, the most you can make. If you don't know anything about options, it's all because we have this Greek called theta, which is time decay. So every day the options are decaying a certain amount. But if you click short, you're gonna see this theta is actually the amount you're making. So this is $42 a day. This option is losing $42 a day and you're gonna be making that, making that $42 a day because you're short. So now let me show you options a little bit further out and why we don't use this strategy with it. So those 105 options, they're losing $8 a day. Again, what do you wanna make? $42 a day or $8 a day? It's not that hard. So here, all we're doing is going on to the June 5th and then we're shorting these options. So this could be the 110, the 109, the 108. The further and further you go lower, the higher chance you're gonna just not have to own the stock and collect income. So again, we can collect $84, $32 a day, and we have about three days till the market closes and we have expiration getting hit. But once expiration happens on Friday, we collect the full $84. We wake up again on Monday and do it again for the June 12th options. So we go to those and we're trying to collect income on those. And again, if we click it, it's about 20 bucks a day. This strategy works really well if, if you're using highly volatile options because those options have the highest time decay and we just wanna make sure if this strategy blew you away, you have to check out my most advanced trading strategies in my options domination course, one month in my premium group, link in the bio. And we're gonna get into this live example later about the best options to pick, how to find the ones that decay the most. I'm getting into that later in this video, but we just got two more and then we're all done. I'll show you a live example. We're gonna sell the stock and this is cool because if you own the stock, you don't have to own it forever. What you could do is wait for the stock to go up maybe go up a dollar or two and maybe sell it at break even and then just sell the whole stock and then repeat the process again, short some puts, but we can make money when the puts go to zero, but we can also make money if we get exercised, own the stock and the stock goes up because over time, the stock market goes up. There's a very small chance you're gonna lose money in the long run if you pick the right stock or if you're doing this with indexes. I mean, look, this index straight up for multiple decades. If you owned it for even a month, there's a very small chance you're losing money. So again, if we sell the stock, we make money. And the last step, repeat the process. Short puts, maybe get exercised, sell the stock for a gain, and again and again and again. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Passive income, you go to sleep, you don't have to worry about it because we're buying companies that are great companies if we get exercised. Now, this is exactly what you wanted, a live example of the perfect stock I would be using to short put options with, one stock I don't mind owning long term, and options that decay huge every single day, paying you the biggest bang for your buck. So here it is, here's my strategy. This is Zoom. Everyone's talking about it. Everyone's gonna be working from home in the future. This is gonna be a stock that is continually gonna go up. So what I'm seeing with Zoom is a lot of volatility. As you can see from the chart, this thing is completely stored. Went from $60 all the way to 200 since the IPO's inception. So percent return just from the stock that's 240%. So you gotta ask yourself, do you mind having 240% return if you ended up owning the stock, that's not a bad deal, honestly. And this thing is straight up. With the market conditions, with what's happening with society, I think this stock continues to explode. So right now, as you see, the stock's at $207, but this is the one reason why I'm using this stock over stocks like Chewy, all these other IPOs beyond me. They're volatile, but I believe in this one a little bit more and it's newer. So that volatility is gonna be a lot higher. This works when volatility is usually over 100. That's where you collect the most income. So these options right here, the sell, 
puts, the 205s, the 200s, the 195s, if we click this, the volatility is 180%. That's called IV. That's gonna bake in a huge time decay for these option contracts. So if I scroll down, as you can see, these options have an 82% chance of expiring completely worthless. So if you're shorting it, you're gonna collect a full $300 by the time Friday comes in three days. If I scroll down, this option decays $137 a day, which is close to a 50% recoup on that capital you're trying to get. So $300, it's decaying about 130. That's almost 50% return right there. And it has an 82% chance of expiring out of the money, which is mind blowing. So again, if we ever drop to 180 for the stock, the best part is because it's so volatile, you're gonna own it at a huge discount. This is gonna be a 10% discount, may probably even 18 if the stock continues to go up. But my point is the volatility increase gets you an even cheaper entry point if you have to exercise and have to buy the stock at $180. So again, not many people have this capital. It doesn't work for everybody, but that's $18,000 you need to actually do this strategy. Or you can go even further out of the money, these 170s, the 160s. That means you don't have to put up 18,000. You have to put up 16,000 or 15,000. But you can do this strategy with any other stock probably with volatility around 100. I would say 100% IV, that's a good starting point. That means you're collecting more money and you're getting at a, bit, a better discount if it goes in the money and you get exercised. But again, if you believe in these stocks long-term, that dip lower should just be a better entry point to hold the stock and make that 10% if it pops back up to normal or 18%. Now let's get into a little bit more technical analysis on how you pick the right strike price to do this strategy. Again, you can be safer, try to collect the ones that have a 95% chance of making you all that money or 80 or 70, it doesn't really matter. It's up to you, your risk tolerance. But as someone who knows technical analysis, I know when I look at a chart, the levels I should be looking to short those options. So as you can see right here on Zoom, we have this wedge we completely broke out of to the upside. So as a trader, I do think we come back down eventually, retest this wedge. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be using this wedge to sell some put options because I know we're not gonna fall underneath the wedge very easily. We could do it but it's not gonna be easy. And as a trader, I'm looking for places that aren't gonna be easy to pass. So right here is $180. So I'm only shorting options below 180 for Zoom. So again, $180 brings me in $305 for the next three days of this week. If I go out till next week, those June 12th options, if I go to 180, this one will bring me in $560. So again, every single week you're collecting a huge paycheck with these volatile options. And the best part is if you pick the right areas, there's a very small chance you even have to own the stock. But even if you do, it's gonna be a great stock at a great discount. So this is my best trading strategy. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you want another in-depth video on my best put option selling strategy, check it out to the video to the right of me. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to bring in not 100, but $200 a week selling options risk-free from someone who runs a professional options trading group. Stay tuned.